So hello guys, I hope you are doing fine. Today I want to discuss with you five bad behaviors of taxi drivers that can easily put at risk the life of the, the lives of their riders, the life of those drivers themselves as well as their cars. So this video does not mean to criticize drivers who are in this industry. I have very very high regard for taxi drivers for the good work they do in the city, helping people to move about their day-to-day -day work. And also, you know, taking risk to be on the road every moment to deliver people to their destinations. But that does not mean that there is no bad crop of taxi drivers. And in this video, as I have mentioned, I am going to discuss five bad habits that, in my view, should be stopped immediately by any taxi driver who is doing this. The first one is offline trips. This has been the traditional a uh, crime that taxi drivers used to commit but nowadays it has really gone down not many drivers will ask to go for offline trips given the fact that they are very easy, uh, closely monitored by the apps and they have some uh, statistics they have some ratings that they get at the end of each trip so it is in every driver's interest to complete every trip that they are requested so Kudos to all drivers who nowadays complete all their online trips. A few number of drivers are still, you know, forcing riders to to do offline trips, but not a big number of them. As I have mentioned, it is in the best interest of drivers to do online trips so that their ratings can improve. The second very bad character of drivers is using private insurance instead of public insurance instead of psv insurance and what drivers are doing nowadays they will go and buy you know psv insurance especially comprehensive is very expensive compared to uh, private insurance so what drivers are doing they are going to buy a third party psv insurance at around ten thousand for the whole year then they will use that third party insurance to upload on all the taxi platforms once the car has been approved with that psv insurance for the whole year they go back to the insurance company they cancel that psv insurance and they buy a comprehensive private insurance for the whole year you get my point so with the private insurance they will be able to do one thing first of all they will buy it cheaper than buying comprehensive PSV. So they'll buy comprehensive private instead of comprehensive PSV at a cheaper rate. Secondly, when your car is displaying on the screen, on the weed screen, when it is displaying private insurance, you get in less troubles with policemen. So when a police arrests, uh, stops you and they see it is a private insurance, they don't ask for so many things. They will not ask you for your PSV badge. They will not ask you for what for inspection okay they will not start looking at the the screens or the winds the, the how do i call them the glasses or the the windows of your car whether they are tinted okay so drivers are getting away with that and they are able to you know to trick the applications that they are still operating on the initial psv insurance which is not the case so the problem with that of course, drivers, you see, they will get away with so many things and they will be in troubles less times than when you are using a PSV badge. So the biggest risk with that is, and may God forbid, in case of an accident, okay, you know, a PSV insurance, it insures the car and it insures the riders, the people you are carrying, okay? Apart from the driver, the driver needs to get his own uh, personal cover but the three that's why you see at the door the right door of the taxi car Hapochini there is always some description that have been put there either four passengers or three passengers so meaning this car when I carry three people they are insured in case of an accident those people will be compensated by my PSV comprehensive insurance Okay, so when these drivers cancel the PSV insurance and they continue carrying people with their private insurance, in case of an accident, the people they are carrying, they, are, they will not be insured. And that is the risk. So the people who are being carried by these drivers, they are putting themselves at risk without 
actually knowing and that's why i'm telling drivers for that reason please if you are doing that it is not fair it is not right you are risking other people's life just for your small benefit the other thing that i want to talk about here that drivers are doing which is not right is when it is when it comes to buying cars for taxi business everybody knows that if you sell your car to someone who is going to use it on uber bolt and other digital taxi platforms it will be used at higher risk compared to someone who is going to buy that car and use it for private purpose so a lot of people when they are going today to buy cars from the yard you know from from mombasa at higher purchase when they go to ask banks to sponsor them or to give them some loan to buy a car they are lying that these cars will be used for private use but immediately they get hold of those cars they want to use them for uber they want to use them for bolt and sometimes the drivers will get away with it but in some circumstances if you have watched my previous video which i did with a lady who works in a bank she told me that a lot of drivers for the same reason they have found themselves in trouble because for instance if you go to a bank or you go to to a, a yard a car yard and then you buy a car on loan that car will not be fully yours on the system on the logbook it will be co-owned meaning that if you bought that car from the bank and it is written p uh, no, it is written private car in the insurance you will not be able to go and change that to psv so that you can upload it into your uber bolt and other digital taxi platforms you will be forced to use it for private use and when drivers are not able to get to convert from private to PSV so that they can get it approved to be used for Uber, they are going ahead to forge insurance stickers so that they can upload them on the platforms. So that is my sec that that point that I believe a lot of drivers are doing it wrong at the risk of the people they carry and also at the risk of themselves okay so i think the third and fourth point i'll actually no brainer I, I i see my time is out and i need to go and and join another call somewhere but those are some of the things i needed to discuss with you today because a lot of drivers are doing these things they have gotten away with them for quite some time but there is that one single moment that can turn things around and everybody would be at risk because of these bad behaviors of a few drivers so if you are out there you want to get into the taxi business please make sure that you are not part of this uh, crop of drivers who are doing this stuff and if you are out there and doing these things please i'm not setting you up i'm just helping you you might think that i'm setting you up i'm reporting you actually i am not i am helping you to be a good person and to serve the industry with the dignity so that you don't put yourself and the people that you carry at risk with those few words i just wish wish you a beautiful week ahead